I don't know where I put it. So, like I said in the last video, I'm tackling my valve cover gaskets. Fingers crossed that everything goes well. Me and my boy David, he's got a 2014 WRX. I was close. So far, we've gotten most of the uh, bolts out. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the coil pack so I can get those last two down there. You just gotta go ahead and take out these eight 10 millimeter bolts that are over here. One down here, one over there. There's gonna be one all the way down at the very back. You're gonna take your coil packs out, which isn't very difficult, I already got those out. And then once you have those out, you're gonna take a pry bar and just pry this off and we'll clean the valve cover. Once you've got the bolts and everything out, you got your coil packs removed, you're gonna to wanna to take this hose off and then kinda of just pry the actual cover itself off. It was really, really annoying to get them off. We had to, this side was pretty easy. You just kinda of wiggle it out. But then coming along to the driver's side, we had to push it back angle it down and kind of uh, bring it up this way. I'm just gonna go ahead, clean this off, make sure it's all good, put the new gaskets back on. Before we continue, I gotta grab some more oil and an oil filter. I just figured since I'm down there and it's leaking oil and it's gonna be leaking out anyways, might as well just get some more. So, to advanced we go. Or AutoZone or something. O'Reilly's. O'Reilly's for the, um, oil filter and then probably Walmart to get the oil because I use Penn's oil WD, no, 5W30. Gotcha. That's it. This one right here? Bucks. Yeah, it's actually cheaper than Oh, good. That's it. That's about it. All that right. It's like crack. I love it. All right. We got everything we need. Just got a new oil filter and some more oil just to throw in. And all we got to do is clean off the covers, fill up, and we should be good to go. I know, right? That is, that is literally true. A clean car is a happy car. We're almost done. We just gotta go ahead and clean this valve cover off. All right, so this is probably the cleanest that we're gonna get them for right now, but I think they look pretty good. Better than before, which was completely black. This is the one that was giving me problems. So I would start it up and it would immediately start smoking because it was just dripping onto my headers over there. And I found out that the, little, the uh, I think this is an oil pickup tube or something? Oil separator tube or something like that? Something of that sort. But in here, it was completely cruddy and there was so much gunk in there. Wow. I really violated last time. <laughs> God, I hate myself. Ow. Okay. Yeah. That was just pure pain. Got it though. And I got this gasket. There she goes. Nice. Oh god. Is she in there? Yeah, I made it. Drained all the old oil, put the new filter in, and just finished putting all the gaskets on. This is the driver's side, I believe. Or no, this is the passenger side. So we're gonna go ahead and put these on now. Fill up the oil, and she should be good to go. Until I get new axles, then she'll really be good to go. Alright. Moment of truth, guys. Sorry, cams. I'm not trying to touch you. Mm. I, like, tried to shimmy it in. Oh, there we go. Did I get it? I don't know. Did I do it? Please? Putting this back on was not as hard as I thought it was going to be. It was just slightly annoying because of this little hose right there. It doesn't give you any leeway to move it at all. It's like low key kind of a hard line. <laughs> a few inches later. Everything was going great. We put the passenger side cover on, which was a side that was giving us problems initially. That was the whole reason for me even changing them in the first place. Like I said, it was leaking over onto my headers, so I had to just take care of that real quick. But then we came over to the driver's side and we put everything on and I went to go fill up my oil and I had David just take a look under to make sure nothing was leaking and it was pouring. All of this, well not all of it, but practically most of this was from me just pouring in some oil yesterday and having all of it just come right out. And the reason that happened, honestly, was something super duper minuscule. This is like a, it's like a half moon crescent gasket piece or something. Dude, I don't know. I didn't even know it existed until yesterday. So it sits like, hold on, I'll move all this out the way so I can show you again. 
so it sits right back there where that little indent is. When we pulled it out, it was super brittle and it had no gasket sealer or anything on it at all. So we were going to put some on and as it was just sitting there in my hand, I, I moved it a little bit and it started just crumpling. Like I didn't give it any force or anything, it just started tearing itself apart. So I'm going to go ahead to a dealership and try to grab a new part real quick and finish this up. Also, just a quick little tip for, you know, dudes like me that are pretty new with cars and shit. Whenever you're taking stuff off, just put it back on where it came off of. That way you don't lose track of it later. Ugh! That's nice. How do you get the watch, them, watch them not even have the part here, though. How unfortunate would that be? I forgot to ask you, um, from last iron? Yep. Can you just check these Ready to go? I'm mad. Why? It feels so good. I miss my car. Honestly, Dude, this I will. One feels better than the one I had. What's and cool about these, right? So, you know how normally you have the parking camera over there in the front? Yeah, and the, up here. Yes, dude. So it comes up I, there, yeah. and you still have the mirror. It's so nice. Yeah, but you know I hate backup cameras. That's why. That's why they put it in the mirror, so you don't have to pay attention to it. Okay, so tighten everything down before we put everything back on. We're just gonna test it out real quick, make sure that nothing leaks. Nothing should come off because we sealed everything to the highest degree. All these bolts were tightened down to the point where, like, I think my hands are cramping now. <laughs> I mean, I don't see anything. Nothing? Nothing. Alright, yeah. Too. Sweet. We did it then. I mean, this is the part where we failed. So last time we did this, guys, as we were filling this up, everything came out of the bottom on this side. Wait, so did you check the oil level? <laughs> to see where it's at now. Uh, I mean, you didn't overfill it, but just. Uh, <laughs> I did not. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> to make sure it's not in gear first. <laughs> Try myself. No lights on. Running okay. I don't see no again. Nothing yet? There's nothing. I say get an engine mode here. Huh? Get an engine mode. Oh yeah, definitely. That's the next thing. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was kind of scared to do this job just because like I don't have that much wrenching experience and like I don't want to mess anything up, but it wasn't that hard once you figure out what you're doing and where everything is. It's really not that hard. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'm happy that I actually got it done, and I won't have any more leaks. So next thing I got to do is replace my rear axle so I can actually be on the road again. Thanks for watching. Peace out, and I'll see you all in the next video because it's going to rain right now. <laughs>